Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another Dolls I Don't Want video. If you haven't seen this series of videos from me before, it's just a series where I take a look at dolls that have either come out semi-recently or are going to be coming out soon. Any doll that has stock photos that falls within that range. And I talk about why I don't want to buy them. So when I do want to buy a doll, I'm lucky enough to be in a position where most of the time I can buy that doll. And so this series is just a way for me to talk about all the dolls that I don't plan on buying and then doing reviews for because I always have opinions even if I don't plan on buying something and so it's just kind of fun to talk about some releases that are happening or like just recently happened and kind of give you my take on them. This is obviously just my opinion so if you guys disagree that's totally chill it's not a big deal and I would love to hear your thoughts about these dolls in the comments down below. I feel like we have a fair amount of dolls to get through so we will kind of just jump right into things but if you guys do find yourself enjoying the video if you could give it a like that's super helpful to me. If you're new here and you enjoy your time definitely subscribe so you can see more and then if you want to go out of your way I do have a bunch of links and stuff in the description if you want to support me in other places but with all of that said let's go ahead and get started talking about these dolls Okay, so the first brand we are going to be talking about is Monster High, and I will say that most of these brands I feel like I am kind of on time for, but the Monster High dolls I'm a little late talking about with some of them, so I am sorry, but the first one is the Halliday Skeleta doll. There's nothing wrong with her. Um, I don't think I said this in the intro, but when I have dolls on this list, sometimes it's like, hey, this is too expensive. Sometimes it's like, this is a good doll, but I just don't really connect with them. Sometimes I do think it's an ugly doll. Skeleta is one where I don't think that there's any Anything wrong with her whatsoever like I don't look at her and feel like this is a bad doll or an ugly doll or anything like that it's just not something that connects to me personally um, so very happy for other people who get to enjoy her and have her and feel love for her I think she's pretty but she's just not for me so she's kicking off the list here then we have a little like set that was announced I believe that this is at Costco in the US I'm not sure if it's being released outside of the US but it's the G3 Monster High car but this time it comes with a Claudine and a Draculaura. It's, it's whatever. It's kind of like a weird set that they did. Um, the dolls are fine. I don't feel particularly enthused about any of them. Certainly not enough to buy the car because in general, I almost never buy doll cars or play sets, partially just because I'm less interested and partially because I do not have the space for those things. And I didn't like the car enough to buy it when it was by itself. And the dolls don't add enough for me to want the car. So again, not that there's anything like wrong with this release. It's just not exciting to me. Then I feel like I need to briefly touch on the two Off-White and Monster High dolls that have released. I did like a whole video about the collaboration a while ago when it was like first announced. Um, didn't buy Electra, the first one to drop. I liked her hair and I liked her outfit okay, but I really did not vibe at all with her face. And obviously they're very expensive dolls. They're $150 in the US and I just couldn't do it. And then we more recently just had, I believe, Harmony is her name, released. And I do think she's really, really cute, which makes this kind of bittersweet for me. I didn't get her either. Obviously, she's featured in the Dolls I Don't Want video. I like her. I think that she has a cool design. I definitely think that she is better than Electra was for me. But I still can't justify paying $150. You know, like, if this were a $50 doll, I think I would have bought her but I just can't justify the price tag. I understand that it's like a designer collaboration, but she just doesn't strike me as being worth that amount of money, so I did end up skipping on her. And then lastly, to round out Monster High releases for this video is the Stitched in Style Frankie. Those of you who have been around for a while have probably heard me say that I'm not really a Gen 1 or Gen 2 Frankie fan. I didn't come around to the character until G3. G3 Frankie just like really resonates with me in a way that Gen 1 Frankie does not. So this is like an alumni style doll with the um, Gen 1 style body and face and everything like that. And I just, I don't know what it is. I have so much harder a time connecting to her than I do the G3 Frankie. I can't understand why. That being said, I do think this is an amazing doll, like an absolutely amazing doll. I did ages ago a video where I ranked all of the Frankie dolls from Gen 1, and she would be in the perfect tier. Like, I do think this might be the best Gen 1 style Frankie doll I've ever seen, but I just still don't feel that, like, spark of connection. So while it's a really, really cool design, I think it's quite well executed, it's just not worth it to spend the money for me. I totally understand why people like this doll. Um, but yeah, it just, it wasn't something that 
I felt would be money well spent in my case. That brings us to Rainbow High, and nothing like actually new as of time of filming. Knowing my luck, there might be something by the time that I post this video, because that happens literally every time. But Rainbow High is doing, I guess for the holidays, this weird two-set thing. They have it for Stella and then Bella. So with Stella, they have her original doll and then her junior high doll and a two-pack, and then same thing for Bella with her original and then her junior high doll. I'm so confused by this, like, I think I'm mostly confused by the characters that they're picking to do this with. I know the theory is that it might be dead stock, but I was under the impression that Bella had been a pretty popular doll when she came out, so it feels weird to me that they would have dead stock of the original Bella. Maybe they have a ton of the junior high Bella, so they, like, made more of the original to, like, package with her. Or maybe I'm just wrong and she didn't actually sell that well. I have no idea. But um, yeah, looking at the Stella one, I have written off the junior high dolls. I just have a really hard time connecting with them. I ended up selling the ones that I had bought before. And I already have the OG Stella, so there's no need for me to get this. And then with Bella, literally the exact same story. Not interested whatsoever in the junior high doll. And I already have the original Bella. So I guess if you do like both of these dolls, this is a great way to get them if you don't have them already. Or even if like you missed out on their releases and it's hard to find a good price for them, maybe this would be like a good way to get them. But they only come with one outfit. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird release. It's fine. It's not like inherently harmful. I just think it's a little bit strange, but I'm not getting either of them. And then the last extremely odd, like sort of repackaged thing from Rainbow High is this like bedroom set with Ruby. And I do think this is the weirdest one and the one that is most likely because of Deadstock, at least in my opinion. Again, could be wrong. I'm just kind of theorizing here. But this is, if not identical to, very similar to the like bedroom set that came with the Rainbow High like house that they released. And then it's basically Winter Break Ruby and her second outfit, except I think the shoes are different and I believe that's the only difference. I think everything else is the same. Definitely like the hat and then the um, shirt and skirt are from Winter Break. Did I say Winter Break before? It's Winter Break Ruby. And it's just so bizarre to me. I think it's already very strange to be releasing something like this, but if it were the regular Ruby, I maybe could excuse it more. I, maybe that's the wrong word. I wouldn't be so struck by it, but it's so weird to me to release basically the Winter Doll and a bedroom set together. Like that doesn't, <laughs> That doesn't go together. <laughs> I know that the bedroom is, like, red, so I understand why they did Ruby, but it would have made way more sense to re-release one of the Slumber Party dolls with, like, a recolor of the bedroom set, because at least the Slumber Party in pajamas goes to the bedroom. But, like, the Winter doll? It's weird, and I'm not gonna buy it. That's the end of my rant here. Kind of similarly, we also have two packs coming out from Bratz, so we have a two pack with the original Yasmin and the original Jade. I think this is fine. Um, my thing is that I didn't like any of the like Wave 1 reproductions of the original Bratz dolls enough to buy them, and I don't think that my opinion has changed really. Like I do feel a bit more favorably towards Yasmin than I did when the repros first came out, but I still don't think that I like her or enough or Jade enough to want to buy this two-pack. And then the other two-pack for that is the Chloe and Sasha. And again, it's not that there's anything wrong with these dolls. It's not that I think they're terrible and awful and all of these things. It's just like, to me, I didn't like it enough to buy them when they were out individually. And I don't think that I feel very strongly about them now either. So it would be a waste of money, even though it's a good deal. Like I think these are $25 in the US. So to get two brat stalls with all of the extra clothes and everything, that's a good deal. But just because it's a good deal doesn't mean I need it, you know? And so I, I'm going to be skipping out on those. Next up, we're going to be talking about Barbie. And I am a little bit heated about this one, actually. I don't know what the technical name of this doll is, but it's a Barbie movie Ken, a Ryan Gosling Ken. And he's wearing, like, a similar outfit to the Mojo Dojo Casa House Ken, but instead of like the coat and everything, he's got an I Am Kenuff hoodie, and it's also a Ryan Gosling face sculpt. So <laughs> I'm irritated because I'm not going to buy this doll just for the face sculpt, but I think all of the Barbie movie dolls should have had this face sculpt. I don't know what was going on behind the scenes that caused this to just now happen, but I am irritated about it. I think the hoodie is really funny and really cute, but 
because so much of the outfit is the same as the Mojo Dojo Casa House can that I have ordered, which by the way, I don't know if any of y'all follow me on Instagram who are seeing this video, but my order for him got delayed. He was supposed to ship out a couple of days ago as of time of filming, and now he won't be shipping until December, and I'm irritated about it. But I ordered that can, and I'm still going to get that can at some point. And so it's the same headband, the same pants, the same shoes, and then also he's got like the fur coat and the other stuff. So I would be buying this doll with a lot of duplicate parts if I bought him. And I'm just, I'm not going to. I think the pre-order time is closed anyway. I'm irritated because I do really like the face sculpt and I think the hoodie is cute. Uh, I've seen other people say that the hoodie should have been a fashion pack and I 100% agree. And I think this should have been the face sculpt used from the beginning. So a little heated, but I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> then there's the Mariah Carey Barbie. And okay, I know that like it, she's kind of a joke around the holidays and like the... Um, I want to say All I Want for Christmas is You, and then my brain is like, is that even the right title? But the holiday song, like, I know it's a big fat meme. I love that song. <laughs> like, unironically, I think it's really good. I understand it's, like, on repeat all the time, every year. I still love it, and I perpetuate it being played on repeat. Um, I'm part of the problem, basically. <laughs> so I like, unironically think it's cool that this doll is getting released. I don't like it quite enough to want to purchase her. I feel like a lot of people are going to buy this doll for the joke, and, like, that's fine if it's funny to you. Um, but I do think, like, it's a it's a nice doll. Like, the dress is cool. I think the face sculpt is pretty good. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just, like, don't feel quite strongly enough to buy it. But I do think it's funny, and I do like it. And that brings us to the last brand for today, which is LOL. But I do have quite a few dolls to talk about with LOL. The first batch being the Series 5 of the tweens that literally, like, just got put on the website just in time for me to make this video. So thank you, LOL, for having good timing for me for once. <laughs> and I don't want any of them. Um, I don't want any of their names because, honestly, when I don't plan on buying a doll, sometimes I just don't care enough to learn the name, <laughs> which sounds bad, but I just really don't. Um, so I don't know the names. You'll see the pictures on the screen so you'll know which ones I'm talking about. This one, I think her hair is cute. I like her shirt. And I think the silhouette of the pants is cool, but I don't think that it goes with the shirt, at least like on the proportions of the tween body. I just don't think that it's quite working for me. I like the idea of a more like wide leg pant. I think it's fun. I just don't really think it works. She has a skateboard accessory, which like is cool, but her outfit doesn't strike me as like skateboardy. Like she almost looks like business casual to me. <laughs> <laughs> or like a like a teacher kind of vibe, like maybe a funky art teacher would wear this sort of outfit. And I guess a funky art teacher could skateboard, like I'm not trying to like gatekeep her activities. I just think it's weird. I don't feel enthused enough to want to get her. Like she's definitely not terrible, but I just don't really love her. And that's going to be the theme for all of the tweens here. Um, this next one, I think is kind of boring, honestly. And actually, that's also a theme. Like I just think that this round of tweens doesn't look as exciting as a lot of the other tween dolls have in the past. Like, I've said a lot of good things about the tween dolls, but I just don't think that these look that great. Like, this one is maybe my least favorite. I just don't really like anything that she has on her. I don't know. Maybe I'm being harsh, but I'm just not a fan. Uh, this one, I think, is maybe the best base doll. I think her makeup is really fun with, like, it looks as though it's two-tone really intense like eyeshadow or eyeliner and I think it's really pretty. I think it goes great with the color of her hair. I like the style and I like the two little like ringlet curls on the side. I think all of that is very cute but I don't like her outfit. I just... <laughs> I don't feel like anything really goes together. I don't get it. And the sequin top, I just... the scale feels so wrong and it looks so cheap. Like it looks costumey instead of like an intentional sequin shirt and I understand that sequins are like hard to do on a doll scale I just don't think this looks good at all as far as the outfit which makes me sad because again I like the base doll I feel like the purples are nice and you could have done something really cool with it I even like the cut of the shirt but I just really don't like the fabric I don't like the pants underneath it the shoes look unexciting I don't like it <laughs> and then lastly we have this like yellow blonde gal and she's fine um Maybe has my favorite outfit. I don't like the hair as much, though. I think it's really cool when the tweens have, like, multicolors in their hair or just more interesting hairstyles. Like, I guess the bang is kind of interesting, but just the ponytail is kind of meh to me. 
I don't know, maybe I also just don't like that tone of yellow, like, against her skin tone. I'm not 100% sure. I do think the dress is cute. I think that the boots are kind of fun. The, like, cardigan she's got on, hard to tell in the stock photo, might like it more in person. But even though I do like elements, I just don't feel super strongly. I don't see this doll and go, oh my gosh, I need to have her. So yeah, I'm just not particularly enthused. Also, I'm just realizing that I don't think I ever talked about the Haribo tweens doll, and that's because I originally thought I was going to buy her. So I'll just like pop this in here real quick, even though I wasn't planning to talk about her. <laughs> but I thought I was going to buy her, hence why she hasn't been in one of these dolls I don't want videos yet. And I, I just can't. Like, I really thought I would be interested, but instead of it being a situation where the more I look at her, the more I like her, the more I look at her, the less I like her. I think a lot of it is the hat and the hairstyle. It doesn't work for me at all. But yeah, so a very sad honorable mention to the Haribo uh, tweens doll. I don't know her name. I'm sorry. But I think she's got a lot of cool elements. Just... It wasn't meshing with me the way I thought it would mesh with me. Then from LOL OMG, we've got like two lines to talk about here. There was a lot happening with LOL. I don't know what this first one is. It's like the four original characters and they have like a transforming look gimmick thing going on. Um, this first one, I can never remember her name. Lady Diva, I think that's it. I cannot stand her hair color with the other colors that are in like her palette. I don't think it looks the best against her skin tone and I don't like it with the hot pink. It's like a blonde tinging on green and I think it could be a really really cool color but I just don't think it works. Like I think if she had a little bit of a deeper skin tone it would match better with the skin tone and I just don't love it with the pink. I don't know. It, it, that's like the one thing that consistently kills all of her dolls for me is I cannot stand the hair color on this doll in particular. So I don't even know if I like the outfit because I, I just can't focus on anything other than that hair. So I don't love that one. Um, Neon Licious, I wasn't a fan of her original doll. I think she's also gotten like a budget doll. Uh, but I love the Neon Licious Fierce doll. This one I want to like. I think her pieces are really cool. But again, very similar to the tweens. This lineup from OMG feels very basic and like not as detailed as I typically expect to see from OMG. I'm not sure what the price point is on these, so maybe it is because they're a more budget line, but it's just not working for me. I think her shorts are cool, and I do think that the like corset skirt thingy that goes over it is kind of interesting. It's almost like Wonderland sort of vibes with the cut and the pattern to me, but there's just not enough. Like I can't figure out what it is, but she is missing something in my opinion. So she might be the one that is like my favorite out of these, but I still don't like her enough to get her. Then we have Royal Bee. I always want to say Queen Bee, but I think it's Royal Bee. I do think that her dress is interesting um, with like the kind of bubble aspect to it, almost like a puffer coat, but it's like on the skirt. And I think the overcoat that she gets is also really cool. But again, it just feels like not quite enough. I can't pinpoint what she's missing, but it feels like an incomplete design to me. Like, I feel like she just needs one more thing to push it over the edge, and she doesn't have it. So I'm, I'm not totally against her, but I just don't love this one. And then the last one I think is Swag. I, I'm so bad at doll names, but especially OMG names are just hard for me. Um... I don't know. Her outfit is fine. I very much associate her with the original doll and having the micro braids, and so when she has dolls that don't have that, it's very striking to me in, like, not a good way. That's not to say that the crimps here look bad. I just... It's hard for me to associate it as the same character because I feel so strongly in a good way about her micro braids on her original doll. I think those are really, really fun. Her outfit's fine. Again, nothing inherently wrong with her. I just don't like... And we're still not done. We're almost there, though. This is the final line to talk about. Also from LOL OMG, we have, like, a set of dolls. It's a trio. They're not, like, all in one thing, but there's three releasing that are part of, like, a nail gimmick thing, which I want to say up front, I do fully understand that gimmick dolls are more targeted towards kids and not collectors. If you're a collector who enjoys them, totally chill. I'm not here to judge you. But I do get that these are more for kids, and I also understand that more of the budget is going into the little playset that they come with and also the nail gimmick, because they come with, like, fake nails that you can decorate. So I understand why the dolls look more lackluster, 
So it's it's not like a critique against them. I'm not saying this is a bad release, but I don't like them. <laughs> so the first one is Kitty K. I just don't think that her outfit is that exciting. Even though she has like a little cat cafe and you'd think that I would love that because I love cats. It's just not working for me. As I've been saying with all of the OMG dolls or all of the LOL dolls in general for this video, her outfit just looks unfinished to me. Again, I get that the budget had to go towards the nail gimmick, but it's just not working for me personally. Then we have Candylicious. I, yeah, I don't think this works. I'm not generally a fan of Sweets themed dolls, so like Candylicious isn't really up my alley to begin with, but I do think that Sweets themed dolls, at least in my opinion, are executed best when they're like very over the top and have a ton of accessories. And again, budget had to go to the nails, couldn't go to the doll. She looks very unfinished to me. And then to round it out, I'm not sure who this character is. I don't know if she's a new character or if I just don't know off the top of my head what her name is. I do think she's probably the best out of the three. I just think that she looks the most interesting. I like her makeup and I think her outfit is kind of fun because it's got like that whole ruffle thing going on. So it's at least an interesting cut. But again, I just don't like her enough to want to buy her, especially because I would be paying for the whole nail gimmick that I won't be engaging in. So it's just not worth it to me. I don't know. She's definitely not terrible, but... I mean, this is a Dolls I Don't Want video, so I, I don't want her. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for today. Those are all of the dolls that have either come out recently or are going to come out soon that I don't plan on purchasing. I feel like most of the ones today, if not all of the ones for today, were just dolls that I didn't personally vibe with, not that I thought were absolutely horrific. The Rainbow High releases are weird, but they're not what is that, you know? <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. So that's kind of cool. Like, these videos inherently are meant to be kind of fun. Like, they're negative, but it's, like, in a fun way. And I think especially when it's something like this, where it's just like, yeah, that's a little too expensive, or yeah, that's not quite my taste. It's all in good fun. And, you know, they're kind of nice and cathartic to get out and talk about all of these things that I've been thinking about dolls, but, like, I'm not gonna obviously make videos for them. So very fun for me. I do hope you guys enjoyed listening to me rant today. Like I said earlier, I would love to hear what you think about these dolls in the comments comments down below. Are you kind of with me? Am I completely wrong? I feel like a lot of y'all are going to disagree with me with Stitch and Style Frankie, and that's totally chill, but I'm kind of wondering if you guys agree with me on the other ones. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.